What's going on guys, Arrow here and welcome back to another video. Now in today's video, I want to talk to you guys about the possibility of a Nintendo Direct happening this month in April. Now we're literally only a few days into April, but there have already been people who have been insiders before who have gotten correct things. There's already rumors going around that a Nintendo Direct could already be coming this month. Now personally, if you guys want my opinion, I'm almost certain that we are going to be getting some type of Nintendo Direct or Nintendo presentation that's going to be happening in April. Like I'm 99.9% .9 sure that it's going to happen regardless of what rumors say, what leaks say, it's just it just makes sense. Like I feel like it's going to happen no matter what. Now in terms of how this Nintendo Direct could go, there's actually three possibilities that I have and so that's what I really want to talk to you guys about in this video as there's actually three ways that I could see this Nintendo Direct happening. The first one is we could just get like a normal big Nintendo Direct. The second one is a Super Smash Bros Ultimate focused Nintendo Direct. And then the third one, which some of you might not even expect, is an Animal Crossing Direct. And so in my opinion, I think that all three of these types of Nintendo Directs have the possibility of coming this month. It's just a matter of which one are we going to get. And I'll kind of give you guys sort of ideas as to why I think that these Directs could happen and what I'd like to see from them. And so the first option that we have is just a normal traditional Nintendo Direct. And this is probably the one that I think is going to happen. This is the one that has the highest chance of happening this month. And there's a lot of reasons why a Nintendo Direct could happen. Now usually, Nintendo likes to have two Nintendo Direct presentations before their big show at E3, and they've pretty much been going by this for the past few years. I mean, last year in 2018, we did get two Directs right before E3. The first one that we got was in January, and if you guys remember, that was like a Nintendo Direct Mini. Everybody was speculating about it. On Twitter, Nintendo even was kind of like teasing it with some stuff about Super Mario Odyssey. Then they posted that Chibi Robo on Fire Picture. Everybody was going nuts over that Direct, and then it finally dropped. It was the Nintendo Direct Mini. It came out of nowhere, and there were some pretty cool announcements in there they talked about like Pokemon tournament dlc they talked about the world ends with you coming to the switch they talked about uh, dark souls so there were a few good announcements that came in that direct but then just a few months after that Nintendo Direct Mini, we got the big spring Nintendo Direct. And if you guys remember, this Direct was also before E3. It came out on March 8th last year. And this was the one that announced a lot of crazy things. We got to see the Octo Expansion DLC for Splatoon 2. We got to see Crash Bandicoot's Insane Trilogy coming to the Switch. We got to see uh, Super Smash Bros. That was like obviously the really big thing that they teased at the very end. So this was the Direct that had a lot of information. And so in my opinion, I think that Nintendo is still trying to do the same exact thing, except this year they just want to push back everything by one month. And so you guys remember the Nintendo Direct Mini happened in January, but this year we got a Nintendo Direct in February. And then obviously last year in February we didn't get anything that was like the gap month, and then in March we got that big Nintendo Direct. So it's basically the same exact thing, except this year March was like the month where we got nothing, but April is going to be the one where we get the big Nintendo Direct. And speaking of Nintendo Directs, it seems that Best Buy wanted to have their own Nintendo Direct a few days early as they pretty much leaked a whole bunch of games that came out in the Best Buy system. And so if you guys don't know about this, a few days ago, I think it was on April 2nd, a whole bunch of things were leaked onto the Best Buy internal system about new games that are coming out for the Nintendo Switch and these have not been officially announced by Nintendo. And so a lot of people are thinking that if these are coming, then there's very well going to be some type of announcement or a Nintendo Direct that's on the way real soon. Now if you guys are a little bit unfamiliar with how this all works, basically every single store has their own internal system, and this internal system has all of the products that the store has. And so whenever new products come into the store, or whenever new products are coming out, they get added into the internal system. And sometimes this happens before the products are even officially announced. And so a lot of times, stuff like this can turn out to be real, and then it ends up leaking a little bit early before the official announcement. An example of this would be last year with Call of Duty Black Ops 4. So Call of Duty Black Ops 4 was going to be coming out, but before we got the official reveal for the game, we actually got the whole game leaked to us that it was in fact going to be coming out from a GameStop internal system, where somebody who was an employee at GameStop basically posted a picture with Call of Duty Black Ops 4 merchandise saying that it's already inside of their system, as well as the game, and if I can find that picture, I'll put it up on screen for you guys, but basically when stuff like this gets into the internal system, that's basically stuff that's kind of confirmed at this point, like they're not going to put fake stuff into an internal system for a store. And so going back to the leak stuff on the Nintendo Switch from Best Buy, there's actually three major leaks that have happened from their internal system. And so the first one that we have here is Persona 5 coming to the Nintendo Switch, and I feel like that this just makes a lot of sense. I mean, rumors of Persona 5 coming to Switch started as soon as Joker was announced for Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, and I feel like if Joker's already coming into Smash Bros, promoting his entire game with Persona 5 onto the Nintendo Switch, saying that that game is available now on the Switch, it would just be the right thing to do. And in terms of Persona 5, I've heard that it's an amazing game. I mean, it got nominated for Game of the Year, but it was up against like Breath of the Wild. So I've heard it's an amazing game. I know the music already in that game is ridiculous because I 
I have heard a few tracks from it, but like a lot of people have told me on Twitter that it's an amazing game. People in my Discord have told me. If you guys know my friend Zach or Endgame the Cube, he's told me that it's really good. So a lot of people have told me that the game is a lot of fun, and I've never tried it, but because I love RPGs, I'm definitely looking forward to it. I'll probably pick it up. Now this next leak that we have here is my personal favorite out of the three, and that's the fact that it lists the Metroid Prime trilogy coming to the Nintendo Switch. And so you guys know that I've personally been asking for the Metroid Prime Trilogy on the Switch for the longest time, I really wanted it to come, and when we got the depressing news earlier this year that Metroid Prime 4 was going to be delayed by a significant amount of time as they're pretty much restarting that entire game, I was very disappointed because I was looking forward to that game, but I can understand if like they thought that the game wasn't good enough, I can totally be fine with that, but I really think that if they did release a Metroid Prime Trilogy, it would just be the right thing to do because it would get people a lot of time to play these games and get an understanding of what the Metroid Prime games are like. And so many people even ask me on Twitter and in Discord, they're like, Arrow, I've never played a Metroid Prime game before, but everybody is so hype about Metroid Prime 4, I'm kind of excited about it myself, I want to see what the games are like, and I always just tell them, I'm like, hope for a Metroid Prime trilogy to come to the Switch, because then you'll get to experience all three games and see if you like them. And then finally, the last leak that we have here is the most surprising one, and that's the fact that it lists The Legend of Zelda A Link to the Past also coming to the Nintendo Switch. Now this was definitely the craziest leak out of the three, because we already have so many Zelda related things that are coming out this year, so are we really going to be getting another Zelda game that's going to be coming out this year? I mean the one that we just got announced a few weeks ago was that indie game, and I can't remember the exact name of it, I'm sorry, I'll put it up on screen for you guys, but we've got like an indie game that's coming out, it's like a sequel to another one, and it's going to be using Zelda IP in it, so that's already coming out. Out. We've of course got Link's Awakening which got revealed in that last Nintendo Direct, so that's going to be coming out. And now if we're going to be getting A Link to the Past, that's another Zelda game that supposedly might be coming out this year. So that's just crazy to be a Zelda fan, like you're going to be getting so many things if you're a Zelda fan this year. And so all of these announcements I can see happening in a big Nintendo Direct this month. And there's also some other games that they just need to talk about a little bit because they're going to be coming out real soon. And the best example of this would be a game like Super Mario Maker 2. So Super Mario Maker 2 is literally going to be coming out in June, and we don't have any new information about it besides the initial trailer that we got last month in the Direct, and I feel like if it's going to be coming out in June, they don't have a lot of time to be able to hype a lot of stuff up and show us what's new and get people convinced to buy the game. And so that's why it makes a lot of sense to have a Nintendo Direct and then have a little segment about Super Mario Maker 2 in it, because if the game's going to be coming out in June, I would expect it to come out like right after the week of E3, or right when E3 ends, and I don't think that they're going to be talking about Super Mario Maker 2 at E3, because there's not a lot of time for them to hype up the game and make it seem really good if the game is going to be launching literally a week after. Now switching from a Nintendo Direct, I want to talk to you guys about the possibility of another type of Direct happening this month, which is a Super Smash Bros Ultimate Direct. Now I still think that a traditional Nintendo Direct has the most chance of happening, but I still wouldn't rule out a Super Smash Bros Ultimate Focus Direct to happen this month either. In fact, there's actually a few things about Super Smash Bros Ultimate that they could easily put together into its own special presentation. The first one is obviously Joker, as we know that Joker is going to be coming out as the next DLC character for the game, so it would make a lot of sense to have its own special direct where they talk about Joker's moveset, how he's going to be a cool character. But the second thing that I also have is the version 3.0 update. Now they've talked about the version 3.0 update having patches, and so they could talk a little bit about the character balancing that they're going to be doing for some of the characters that are used a lot, and some of the characters that they think need some nerfs and buffs. Now one other thing that I also think could be announced in a Smash Ultimate Direct is some new modes that are going to be coming to the game. Now with the last Nintendo Direct, they did tease version 3.0 for Smash, and did tease that some type of new modes are going to be coming, they said that there's going to be new things and you're just going to have to look forward to see what's coming. And so if there are going to be some new modes that are going to be added into the game, it would just make a lot of sense to have its own Smash Direct where they talk a little bit about them. I think the ones that are rumored right now is that Stage Builder is going to be returning, and they're also going to be adding like a stadium mode with home run contests and target blasts and all that stuff, so it would make a lot of sense to just have a special Smash Direct and then talk a little bit more about it. And finally, the last thing that I also think could be discussed in a Smash specific Direct is the Smash World app. Now if you guys can remember the Super Smash Bros Ultimate Direct that happened last year in November, there was actually an app that was announced in that Direct called Smash World, and they talked about how this app is going to be coming out this year, and you're basically going to be able to share replays with your friends, and screenshots and stuff, it seems like a cool app, but we haven't heard anything about this app at all, and if it is going to be coming out this year, I think a Smash specific Direct would be the perfect time to talk more about it. And finally, the last type of Nintendo Direct that I could also see happening this month is an Animal Crossing Direct. Now the reason that I think that an Animal Crossing Direct could happen is that everybody is already anticipating Animal Crossing Switch news. I mean, I see on my timeline every day on Twitter that people have been asking for Animal Crossing Switch news. I mean, Nintendo keeps teasing us too by posting pictures of Tom Nook on their Twitter, but like, I think it's time for them to just give us a full unveiling of Animal Crossing on the Switch. And another thing is that Animal Crossing is also like Pokemon, where Animal Crossing gets its own specific directs. 
And personally, I feel like that Animal Crossing doesn't need a lot of promotion to get people to buy the game. I think that if they just had one big Animal Crossing Direct where they unveiled the game, they showed off all the cool new features, all the cool things that you can do in the game, I think that's already enough to get everyone on board to buying it because Animal Crossing we already know sells extremely well. I know that there's already so many people who don't even know anything about the game but are already going to be picking it up, even new Animal Crossing fans because they just know how excited people are for this game. And so there you go guys, those are the possibilities of a Nintendo Direct happening this month, as well as a Smash Direct and possibly an Animal Crossing Direct and some leaks from Best Buy. If you guys enjoyed this video, then please be sure to click that like button and also comment down below and let me know what you guys think of this. Do you guys think that a Nintendo Direct could be happening this month, a Smash Direct or an Animal Crossing Direct? What would you like to see from it? Definitely be sure to comment down below and let me know. If you're new to this channel, then please be sure to subscribe. I'm definitely going to have some more Nintendo content in the future, so please be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on that. Click on that bell to become part of the notification squad. Go follow me on Twitter at ActualArrow so you can be featured in videos, and also join my Discord server as well. We've got a bunch of people in there who are always talking about Pokemon and Smash Bros, and I'm playing Smash with some viewers in there sometimes as well, so definitely be sure to join that. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you so much for watching.